Recently, retired Staff Sergeant Vincent Gizzarelli and his family moved into a new house. For the Gizzarelli family, home has been an elusive concept. On September 11, 2001, Gizzarelli was serving in Kosovo, and a year later he re-enlisted, transferred to 1st Battalion, 2nd Marine Regiment, and deployed to Iraq. During two deployments to Iraq, Gizzarelli suffered multiple injuries during combat, including shrapnel, post-traumatic stress disorder, and traumatic brain injury. The gunny in my shop said, I can tell you're struggling, and I know it's not from lack of effort because you're here all day. And I says, uh, is there something wrong? I said, I don't know. I can't focus. And uh, I got him missing simple things, and uh, I went and got checked out for it, and turned out I had a TBI. Gizzarelli returned home after his deployments and tried to move on with his life. However, the wounds, both physical and emotional, lingered. In 2009, he was medically retired from the Marine Corps. It hasn't been easy since I, since I got out of the Marine Corps. Uh, financially, I mean emotionally, it's been very difficult. But then in 2011, the Gizzarellis were selected to receive a new house from Operation Finally Home, a nonprofit organization designed to provide homes to wounded warriors. The Gizzarellis were not only selected because of their sacrifice, but also because of their willingness to help others, to include becoming the foster parents to three young boys. We didn't know it at the time, but uh, they had told us, uh, we'll get back to you. Uh, I guess they had decided that day that these are the people for this house. Gizzarellis don't have a mortgage or rent to pay, and they never will. But for the first time, they are finally home. Reporting from Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune, I'm Corporal Daniel Wolves.